Hi guys, welcome to Spatial Chat. My name is Atis and I'm going to show you how to play different games in the space. We'll start with a basic level just to get people engaged and then slowly we'll raise the level. Okay, let's go to the space. So, for the welcome room, I have created this basic idea. We have two circles. Circle one is a help, so everybody will appear here because I have added spawn spot. And info, I you just place your staff member so he can answer and cover all questions what attendees have. And then admin or staff member ask basic question just to test can participant understand how to zoom in, zoom out. So a staff member asks, can you tell me what is the time? And time is set above the reception. So they need to zoom in to see what is the time and they can tell you, oh, it's a five o'clock. Oh, excellent. So you're creating this little engagement where your attendee need to make some movement. That's the first idea. Second idea, you can place different images in your design. As you can see on the reception table, there's a little image which represents some letters. So, and you, and you ask your attendee, can you tell me what is written there? And so they again need to zoom in and say, oh, it's written, it's possible. Great, thank you very much. And then you say, on the right side, you can see different rooms, just go, or go and play around. And excellent. So that's the idea one. Idea number two, you add an image with thermometer. So, and then you can ask, hey guys, can you measure the temperature of your current location? And they need to move their avatar by the temperature what they have now. For example, I have 27 and other people have 20 or, or so on. It creates already this little engagement and your attendees need to do something just to get some result. And this is how you create small engagement. Also, after this first activity, you can use the same image to measure how do they feel. You ask, hey guys, can you measure how do you feel today? And then they are placing their avatar around. This is what I'm using. I'm using Celsius because I'm in Europe, I'm in Latvia. But also you can use a mm, thermometer for a Fahrenheit. It would work the same way. Okay, hey guys, how do you feel? I feel excellent. Thank you very much. And then if somebody feels very bad, you can have small talk and ask, hey, what's happened? What's going on? Or if somebody is in the minus, uh, I don't know, 20 degree, you ask, hey, are you from Alaska? <laughs> and then have those small talks. Okay, let's go to next activity location for example you have an international event and people are spread around the world what you do just ask hey guys can you place your avatar in your current location or where are you from or where would you like to travel and so on and then for example I would like to travel to Canada or I would like to go to Africa or so on or I am located here in uh, Europe okay or I would like to go to Italy and and so on but if you want to take a smaller scale, for example, you can take a euro. Okay, and hey guys, can you please place your avatar in your current location or maybe some family member lives somewhere abroad in any other countries? And for example, myself, I'm located in Latvia and I place my avatar here. And then you can have a little small talk with everybody. But of course, make sure, uh, just keep in mind, if you will ask questions to everybody, it could take a lot of time. But if you, and also you can use, for example, in America, hey guys, in which state you are now? And then, oh, okay, I'm in New York. Okay, great. Or, okay, I'm in Arizona or California. Excellent. And then people would place their avatar and they're again creating little engagement and sharing some information about themselves. And it's really cool. Okay, let's go into the next activity. Next activity is the line. You can create different lines with the questions or ideas what you want. For example, when is your birthday? And then what you do, you just create January, February, March, April, blah, 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 and so on. And then you ask, hey guys, can you place your avatar on the month when do you have a birthday? For example, I have in May, and then I have in May. And then we can see, oh guys, I can see we have a lot of people in the May, so a lot of celebration. Or we have in September, or we have in December, and so on. Also, you can do the same uh, measuring or asking question like, how long have you been working in this company? How long have you been working for the company? And then you can just, oh, I've been working 15, 19 years, or uh, it's just my first year, I'm starter, and so on. And you can create a random questions which you can measure in different sections. Okay, let's go to the next activity. You add a logo 
and then ask everybody to stand by the logo and then you can create a selfie sort of screenshot and you have a nice image from the event. That would be idea number one. And idea number two, you ask participants to create these logo letters from the avatars what they have. For example, we need... Excellent! I will give you my applauses. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you create letter A? Small letter A. Can you create small letter A? Uh, <laughs> guys, uh, I can see you have a good humor, <laughs> but this looks very nice. Okay, I accept it, accept, uh, okay, uh, Tanya, Tanya, uh, you, you messed up our A letter, but that's okay, we are having fun, and this is, oh, <laughs> good job, guys. Okay, let's move on, let's Next make. activity, virtual photo booth. So, it works excellent for the sponsors, for the conferences, also, it works excellent for uh, corporate events. So what you do, you just uh, place this image and people should understand themselves. But also, if you need, you can instruct, place your avatar, for example, you're here in the glasses. Then you zoom in and you can see, you can take a screenshot from here. And then you post in social media by using this specific hashtag. Hey, we have a new team member, Atis. Uh, please, Atis, come in the middle. I come in the middle and then I share a little bit of information about myself. And then people from the, around the circle can ask different questions. Just, uh, oh, Atis, can you share what is your hobbies? And then I answer, hey, I really like jogging. Okay, and so on. Next activity, can you find? You can browse online different images with the words can you find? For example, in this specific image, I ask participants, hey guys, can you find the lollipop between all those ice creams? If you find it, please place your avatar on it, okay? And before you do it, you just ask, hey guys, don't step on the image, just step on the side. So if somebody steps here, Maybe there is hidden this lollipop, nobody will be able to see. Okay, and then everybody is ready and they're looking where is the lollipop. And then when somebody finds, then they place it here. And lollipop is here. Okay, lollipop is here as you can see. Let me zoom it in. Okay, lollipop is here. Yeah. So, and somebody uh, zoom, um, place their avatar on the lollipop and you know already where is the lollipop and you say, oh, good job, art is awesome, art is receives one, uh, one point, very nice. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, guys, next room is just for relax, for chill. What you do, you just find the video what you like and then you just place it in the background and create and shrink it very big so it covers all your screen and then people can relax. And if you want, in the settings, you just go to room permissions and switch off the sound so nobody can use a microphone and nobody can use a megaphone. And then you have a nice relaxed room. Okay? Pretty much this is what I have for today. Looking forward to see you next time. Bye.